Advanced settings have many features that can have a big impact on how QuickBooks works for your company. For example, you can change report settings, set up classes to track sales and expenses in specific locations, and turn on different automation features. Let's go over advanced settings so you can decide what works best for you. To get started, go to Settings, select Account and Settings, then select the Advanced tab. These are your advanced settings. Let's start with something basic, your fiscal year. If your fiscal year doesn't start in January, you can change it here. You can also set the first month of your income tax year, as well as the accounting method you use to run reports and file taxes. This is also where you can close your books at the end of the fiscal year. This prevents users from making changes to any transaction or accounts prior to the closing date. This is important since you use these exact numbers when you filed your taxes. When's your closing date? After you file your taxes, most businesses set the last day of the previous fiscal year as their closing date. In the next section, you choose which tax form your company files. If you're not sure, choose Not Sure, Other, None for now and consult your accountant. Other features help with tracking. For instance, Enable Account Numbers help you organize your chart of accounts. This lets you assign numbers to accounts. You can use the number instead of the name when you record a transaction. You can also show those account numbers on reports. Here's a unique feature in QuickBooks, Track Classes. This lets you divide your income and expenses between different parts of your business. If your business has multiple offices, you can track them by turning on the track locations and even set up separate sets of contact information for each location. This lets you track profitability by departments, groups, organizations, funds, locations, or anything else you want to track. QuickBooks can also warn you when you don't enter a class on a transaction. Pre-fill forms with previously entered content can help save you time. With this feature turned on, QuickBooks automatically fills in transactions based on the last transaction for that customer, supplier, or employee. If you want QuickBooks to automatically apply credit memos to open invoices, make sure Automatically Apply Credits is turned on. If you charge customers for your expenses, you can turn on the feature Automatically Invoice Unbilled Activity and QuickBooks will remind you to invoice outstanding billable expenses or even automatically invoice your customers for those charges. The last setting in this section, Automatically Apply Bill Payments, only applies if you use bank or credit card registers. With this turned on, QuickBooks tries to apply money out transactions with open bills from the select payee. Do you need to track the profitability of your projects? Make sure you turn on the Projects feature. This enables a whole new section in QuickBooks with features specifically designed to help you manage projects. Need to change the language settings? Use this menu to switch between the English version or the French version of QuickBooks. You can set your home currency from the drop-down list. Turn on multi-currency if you do business with customers, suppliers, banks, or credit cards that use different currencies. Multi-currency allows you to assign a currency to most types of accounts mentioned, including for accounts receivable and accounts payable. While this option can be opted into, once turned on, it can't be turned off. This is because currency conversion information will have to be accounted for in the system moving forward. You can let other members find you by turning on the Business Network feature. In the last section, you can change the date and number format. We always recommend that you turn on warnings for duplicate numbers. This helps to ensure that you don't enter a check, bill, or journal number twice. And finally, you can choose how long it takes for QuickBooks to log you out if you aren't at your computer. Now you are ready to set up your own advanced settings.